great game for the Steelers. The ball, MVP ball goes to Lamar Jackson. Ravens lose to Steelers 28-24. This game right here, we knew it was going to be good. We knew it right off the bed, back. But, man, Rossenberger went from 21-32, 182 yards, two TDs. We shut their run game down. Um, They were tearing us up with the little short passes. Defense, to me, for the Ravens, played outstanding. They did what they had to do. Now, me mentioning that, this is where I had my problem for as Lamar. (sighs) It's okay. First half. Right off the bat, first quarter, he throws an interception. The dude was covered. The dude was in the middle. Um, I believe it was Porsche. Porsche was in the middle. He had two defenders next to him. Lamar still trying to throw it in that window. And pick, pick six. Okay. So then... The game is zero, um, seven to zero, seven to zero. So then Lamar comes back. He ties the game. Nine plays, 65 yards, touchdown to Boykin. I'm like, okay, we, we getting it. Then a flag happens. Uh, Pittsburgh gets the ball. Flag happens with uh, Marcus Peters. Marcus Peters comes back, forces a fumble. I'm like, okay, we got it going. Then Lamar comes in and gives them the ball pretty much right back. He fumbles it. And I'm sitting here like, he pump faked. While he's in the pocket, he felt that pressure because dude swiped. He dove him. Then he tried to pump fake it. Dude, you got to get that ball out of there. You learned that too early. So defense saves him again. Then we come back, run the ball, run the ball. Gus and J.K. Gus got to get signed this this hopefully this this uh, week if we have enough cash. But hopefully he gets signed because him and J.K. is a deadly combo. They did what they had to do. But I'm, right now I'm, I'm gonna keep talking about Lamar. Lamar comes. We get the touchdown, 14-7, okay. Defense stops Pittsburgh again. Defense, like I said, outstanding. Next thing you know, we get a field goal, 17-7. Lamar's just chilling. And I'm like, oh, Lord. Because the defense playing, and this could be because of a zero. I believe he said this in an interview one time. Because the defense is playing so good doesn't mean you need to attempt things. Mainly playing an undefeated team. Still undefeated team as well as that. But he tried to I don't, he tried to float it and got intercepted. And it was just so easy. The dude really didn't even have to backpedal or anything. And if even if the dude was not there, it was it was gonna be close to the ground where Mark Andrews was gonna have to go close about his knees or the foot area to catch it. But the interception and the red uh, that was in, and they we, they get that interception, and next thing you know, they get a touchdown right off the bat then you can start seeing the tides are about to turn so so far Lamar has already two interceptions and a fumble 
where the defense is playing outstanding. I'm like, Lamar literally gave them 14 points. He gave them a pick six. Then he gave them a TD in their red zone. And the thing that trips me out is the defense is playing so good. <laughs> they literally didn't give up any points. And it's just crazy. They literally did not give up no big plays or anything like that. They were shutting it down. And Lamar really deserves the MVP football. He deserves the football game. They wanted to steal a person, people, Tomlin, Mike Tomlin needs to knock on the, knock on the Ravens door and say, oh, excuse me, here's a football. Here's a football for Lamar. We just want to thank him for that, for them points. 14 points because Pittsburgh has 28 points total through the game you take away them 14 points what does that leave 14 points (laughs) but I'm like wow so great game Pittsburgh defense they they did their thing they now, for as a run, they kept talking about their run. They shut their run down. But the outstanding play for us, the Pittsburgh defense was the linebacker. Whatever, 41, he was doing his thing. He's taking Bush spot. He's doing his thing. Props to that dude. Matter of fact, he the one that did the pick six. Let me see. What's his name? What's his name? What was that dude's name? Spillane, something like that. He did. He balled out. That dude balled out. All right. So second half, um, throughout the whole third quarter, I don't like my words right now. I don't even know what to, what to say. Just hit, hit that, please. Hit that right now, because that's all the support I can I can get. I can, I'm trying to get all the support. I can. But third quarter, we did completely nada, nothing. Pittsburgh, on the other hand, they handled that business in that third quarter. They did what they had to do in that third quarter. They scored. They scored. 14 points in that third quarter. That's ridiculous. But man. And out like I say, I don't even blame the defense. Defense, you did what you had to do. You you literally really shut down Big Ben. But Lamar, hopefully Mike Tomlin give him the, the, the football. He gives him the game ball. Okay, he literally gave that away. Mark Andrews had a catch. Fumbled, went out of bounds. And hopefully this trend ends because it's looking like these top games, the main people, a lot of people look for Lamar. Mark Andrews drop passes here and there or a fumble. But all of this right here, 100% on Lamar. 100%. And it seems like that throughout that first half where we should have dominated this game. He was like, man, him and G-Roll, like I said, him and G-Roll was like, we, we depended on the defense. We can't win no Super Bowl like that. We can't win no playoff game. Just straight depending on the defense. 
But that's a, that's enough for Lamar. He threw 280 yards, two TDs to Boykin, Hollywood, two interceptions, and a fumble. But J.K. Dobbins, 15 carries, 113 yards, 7.5 average. Gus Edwards, 16 carries, 87 yards, one TD. We was turning them up. We was tearing them up for us that running game. And it seems like who I'm about to talk about now, it seems like ever since Dez came on the scene, for this game, a lot of wide receivers stepped up. Willie Sneed, he had seven targets to him, five complete for 106 yards. When last time you seen Willis Snead had that many yards, that many targets? Because they know Dez is there. Rumors is that Dez is going to play Thanksgiving game against Pittsburgh. He's, that's the game he's going to play. I wouldn't be surprised if he plays next week. But that's what the rumor is saying. Also, Eric DaCosta is looking for a wide receiver. That's highly known. Devin DuVernay, one reception. That big pass he did, one reception, 39 yards. You get... <sighs> In the G-Row, you got to you gotta get these young dudes more, man. We have the speed, good people that can catch. This game right here for us, the Russian shit show. If our rush, we know JK is one of our running backs for the future, but him and Gus, beautiful. That would be beautiful for the future. Miles Boykin had three targets. He only caught two for 20 with that one TD. But at first, I thought he was trying to catch up because the, the appearance of Dez. I wish they would have showed Dez how he was reacting throughout the game. That would have been cool. But, yeah. Pittsburgh, they deserve that because Lamar gave it to them. Defense. Everybody played good to me, man. Yannick Ngagwe. He was doing pressures. Judon got kicked out. Ronnie Stanley, man. Oh, man. That Ronnie Stanley injury. That Ronnie Stanley injury really reminded me when I was watching the Dallas game with Dak Prescott. But with Ronnie, you couldn't see it happen until they showed that replay. And when I saw that, I was like, oh my goodness. But they said it was an ankle injury. So, I believe it's they're going to have more reports probably by the time this video come out. But Oh, man. That's that's a tough loss right there. That's a tough loss. Because we already lost uh, Phillips earlier. I think that's his name. Phillips earlier. And then now Ronnie Stanley. Wow. It's going to be interesting who they have bring in because we were literally thin in the offensive line during this game as well. And we didn't have no interceptions. Like, none. I was thinking they was going to catch on to that short, that short passing game. But, mm -mm. they letting them have it. It seemed like when we did press, we got to Big Ben faster. Which for this game, we have a total of two sacks. Okay, Ferguson had one, Chris Board had 0. .5, and Elliott had a 0. .5, so that's one in total. So two sacks. But it would have been nice. To, I was hoping to see Judon, but that Judon, when they kicked him out, the referee was literally in the middle. Like, come on, dude. Y'all could have. Come on, man. That was ridiculous right there. 
But that's still no excuse for the Ravens losing this game. Mm-hmm. But hopefully we can get our revenge on Thanksgiving. Still got a long season. We're five and two now. Lamar has a lot of work to do. Has a lot of work to do. Because he played real bad this game. This game, he could have shut up a lot of people. But hopefully, with the addition of whoever we pick up in the trade with Dez, get some get right. I will not give up on my boy, Lamar. He's still young. He can only get better from this. Hopefully. Because you got to have that Mambo mentality when you're in these games. Where you're up, go for the net. Keep going. Don't care if it's a, even if it's a field goal. But keep going. I know a lot of people is going to say, well, with that last drive, the last before drive where it went for it on fourth and didn't get it, should have got the field goal. Y'all would have just been down one. True, but there's no guarantee we would have got the ball back as well. So I agree with going for it at that time. Now, the play that was called, I was hoping for another pitch pitch play to me that would have been better than trying to have Lamar go up the middle when Gus even when was not getting a lot of run yards up the middle they hit when Gus kind of cut out a little bit that's where all them run yards was coming from but hopefully y'all enjoyed it enjoyed the game Steelers fans congratulations y'all deserve that like I said Lamar Hopefully you get the game ball from the Steelers. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. See y'all next week.